it started to look like it was going to close on Monday above 24, they had some, there were margin calls. Yeah. And who yeah. was on the long side of that? Commercials are on the long side of it. This is a farce. The whole thing's a farce. What the heck are we going to do with silver? You know, I mean, it, it, it continues to confound uh, me. I, I know people watching us are like, what is going on here? I, is it as simple as uh, a point I've been making in some of the interviews I've done where it's like, look, I'm pretty sure that gold's going to 2300, maybe even 2500 next year. And if that's the case, I'm equally sure that the gold silver ratio isn't going to 100. Meaning, you know, that silver is going to stay at 23 or 25. Where, where do you think that, I mean, you're, you've got your fingers on the wholesale picture, you know, and a lot of times, like in places like India, when the gold price goes up, they switch and they start buying silver instead. What do you, what, what do you, I, again, now it's my turn to ask you, what do you think of silver? I mean, are you bullish for that or on top of gold next year? It's going to outperform gold. It has to. It is the most undervalued commodity on the planet Earth. And, and I, I, we just did a little interview with, um, uh, with, uh, with, with our dear friend, um, Bill from Gatta. Oh, yeah. And, you know, he's, I mean, obviously he is, he's so, he expresses such frustration about how come it has been suppressed for so long. And, you know what? I think, um, as far as silver's concerned, yes. You know what I think has been part of the problem? <laughs> I actually think that because it's been contained long enough, the, the commercials, I actually think, and this is why I think we saw a short squeeze, short squeeze, and we're recording this on the 29th. So we saw a short squeeze in silver suddenly commence on, on Friday. And now, and then it went into first notice and it went above the option sweet spot. And why? Because there were margin calls, and why was that? Was because um, suddenly the it was the specs who were holding yeah. the shorts. Yeah, the specs have been writing option calls against silver yep. because they've been sucked in. And it's this game where don't ever wipe them out. Just get, get, let them win a little bit. Right. Uh, keep them in the game, and this will keep them in this wash and rinse cycle. And it's the speculators that's been the problem. And so sure enough, right on, 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 on Friday, suddenly they bet against 22. They bet against 23. And in the option structure, as you know, they bet against 24 and 25. When it started to look like it was going to close on Monday above 24, they had some, there were margin calls. Yeah. And yeah. who was on the long side of that? Commercials are on the long side of it. This is a farce. The whole thing's a farce. Well, and you mentioned, again, that's manipulation to the upside by the banks. Yeah. And that, I mean, everybody says, oh, you only think it's manipulation to the downside. No, you don't understand how this market works, if that's what you think. The banks will always try to work it in the direction that benefits them. And that gets to the end about, you know, what we said earlier about all of a sudden there is some real benefit to having a higher gold price in helping them manage the physical delivery and the physical flow. Because again, in this current structure, that's the banks are, the, you know, they're monopolistically in control of how the pricing scheme works. So again, all of this, I think, does auger, though, toward uh, a very solid um, 2024. We, we certainly look to wrap up 2023, at least in line with the annualized gains we've had going back since the turn of the, the century now, 23 years. Gold's on average in dollar terms annualized about 10%, which again, more, I mean, great. Even in this system, that that's just fine. But next year should be uh, a real humdinger. And I, it'll be fun to see, Andy, now here in December, how it goes too. Um, the economic data uh, should be weak. The jobs report, we'll see exactly what that shows when, you know, I, I know this is going to be out on that day. Um, it should be weak. The, so the seasonal adjustments, the birth death adjustments for November are typically very weak. So we should, we'll see, but uh, that should be uh, kind of set the tone for the month. I've seen some reports here at the end of November about how CPI, the, even the Fed's CPI now forecast is projecting a negative CPI. 
uh, when the report comes out in the second week of December, all of those things could speed things along. We get through the tax loss selling season mm -hmm. uh, of the miners, which uh, even with the late year rally, there's still losses to be harvested mm -hmm. to put up against your magnificent seven positions. That usually concludes by about the middle of the month too. Um, we could end this month in a extraordinarily bullish situation, uh, technically and fundamentally. And so the time for people to kind of prepare for that is now as they're listening to you and I, because it we look like we're on the edge of something pretty significant in 24. Yeah, and I think, again, physical, physical, physical. Right. And, and, it, and it's, um, and I know that's what you, that you're really telling people to, to to uh, make sure it is physical because then you're you're, you're part of the solution, not part of the problem. Yep. And I think so. Really, from a from a f to to really sort of answer your question uh, fully from a from a first tier liquidity provider um, feedback uh, from the wholesale markets, as you, you've mentioned, India, the it, the it's insatiable. The actual demand in India is insatiable, and it's barely reported. And you, of course. You know, no one mentioned about it in, in, in October. No one mentioned about it in November yet. It is going to be massive. And, and again, um, the liquidity providers are, of course, the first tier banks. They know it. And why that's why they're on the long side of this. And they're suckering those specs to take the short side because they're these idiots are writing options calls, unlimited losses. You get carried out feet first out of that casino. You get that wrong. And they're the first to go options rider because you and really, you know what? This is the this is the concern that I'm you get a Goldman up price revaluation, which is coming. Every central bank is buying gold, not because they want a lower gold price. And as you say, to, to, to square up public debt, simple click of a mouse, what you do, whether it's weaponized or whether it's coordinated, it doesn't matter. 